Hi, I'm Dr. Brittany Dixon. I am a board certified cardiologist at Heart Health Specialist here at St. Luke's. One common misconception is that heart disease is a man's disease. Um, even if you look back to advertisements back in the 1950s and 1960s, it was all geared toward treating men with heart disease. And so for a long time, women went, you know, kind of undertreated, under-recognized, underappreciated. But heart disease is the leading cause of death in women as well. So I think that's something that the general public should know is that it affects women just as much as it affects men. So across it, so there are certain subsets like African-American women, um, but also Caucasian women too equally have a high uh, prevalence of heart disease. Um, some of the other populations like Asian women um, don't have, it's not as high in terms of leading cause of death, but uh, it does play a role in risk factors. So family history de definitely plays a role. So if you've had family members who've had you know, heart attacks or any events at a young age especially, that's a big factor. Um, things like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, those are all our traditional risk factors. Smoking is a big one as well. Um, so you know, those are the things we traditionally think of as well as any, you know, as I mentioned, uh, obstetrical complications. So I think in terms of preventative care, um, in screening, I mean, basic things like making your blood, sure your blood pressure is controlled, uh, screening you for diabetes, checking your cholesterol. These are very simple things that often get neglected, and they're really important because I think prevention is probably the best way to treat uh, heart disease. So a typical presentation, um, they describe chest pain, right? Uh, elephant sitting in your chest, heavy pressure. Um, arm pain, jaw pain, those are things that I think most of most of the public knows that can uh, lead to a heart attack. But things like, you know, feeling more fatigued, not being able to do your normal activities, having nausea that out of the blue, um, sometimes, you know, even atypical um, chest discomfort can be a sign of heart attack in women. If you do start to experience uh, concerning symptoms that you think may be heart related to uh, go seek a um, trusted cardiologist and don't just ignore it for years and years because, you know, a lot of times something that we think may not be that serious can turn out to be serious. One of our newer technologies to screen for early detection of heart disease is a coronary calcium score. Um, and what that involves is a CT scan of your heart. And um, essentially what we're looking for is how much calcium you have in your heart, in your coronary arteries and that helps us to kind of put you in different categories for what your risk of um, having coronary artery disease is. If you're low risk, that's good, and you can have that reassurance, but if you are at higher risk, you need to be put on certain medications and followed closely by a cardiologist, and so we have opportunities to um, have patients plugged in with that.